Hi guys, my name is Jessica aka Floturo from Finding Floturo and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to review this behemoth, this Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Dryer. So it's a hair dryer round brush all combined um, and yeah. I purchased this last summer and so I want to officially do a review just in case you guys are curious. So if you're interested in checking this out, then keep on watching. Okay, so I washed my hair today, obviously. It's been in this turban twist thing for mm, probably two hours. I was doing my makeup, just hanging out, not being in a rush, and so I just let it dry in here. I don't typically find that it completely like dries my hair. It probably takes it to, for me, 50% dry. It's, it doesn't make that big of a difference for me, but the reason why I love them is that it's so compact and so sleek and not bulky, as opposed to just wrapping a towel in your head. Um, this I can twist it and secure it and I know that it will stay and it won't like topple over I can put shirts on on top I can just go about my day and I know it'll last and stay up there so my hair is probably 50% damp right now so I'm going to comb it out and apply some heat protectant I've been using it's a 10 miracle leave-in plus keratin spray look at my big ass bottle um, I really like this. I don't really like the smell of it, but I like what it does to my hair. It makes it really smooth and yeah, not frizzy. So let me just do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've combed my hair and I put that product in. If you guys have any recommendations for leave-in heat protectant spray, leave them in the comments down below. I'm really curious. Um, I'm always searching for new products. So if you have a recommendation, please let me know. So this, the Revlon, whoops, drop my phone the Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Dryer. So let me read to you the details that are listed on the Ulta site. So it is $59.99, kind of expensive, but you can apply your Ulta coupons to it. Um, they also sell it at Target, I've seen it there. And yeah, it's pretty big. Look how it is compared to my hand. I have tiny hands though, so I don't know if you can um, compare anything or use it for scale. Here's the bottle. Yeah, it's kind of big. It's it's pretty heavy. I would say it's like a pound, which when you think about it, that doesn't seem that heavy. But when you're like doing this, then it starts to get a little heavy towards the end. So let me read its description. So this is a revolutionary styling tool. It's designed to deliver gorgeous volume and brilliant shine in just one step. The unique oval brush design quickly creates frizz free volume at the root and beautif beautifully full body curls at the end with the single pass so you can have salon results at home. So boosted by ionic technology, hair dries faster with less damage. So the reason why I decided to purchase it is because I don't know if you watched my last video about me putting my hair in a high ponytail. Um, it's hard for me to just get a handle on my hair. It's so thick and long. It's just, I get really frustrated of having to like hold my hair and then do multiple things to it at the same time. And so I have never been one to grasp the blowout technique of round br brushing your hair while also holding a hair dryer and trying to like do this. This was just too much for me and my hair's too long. As you can see, it's like down to this dog's foot. <laughs> I wanted to check this out. Um, I watched probably like one review on it, but I didn't really find anyone with hair like mine. It was mostly just short hair that they were working on. So I wanted to see for myself and if it didn't work out, then I would definitely return it. So the features here, they have three settings. Besides off, there's a cool setting, a low setting and a high setting. For the cool setting, it, obviously it just shoots out cold air between the low and high, it's just the amount of air that comes out. Cause I just noticed when you're on low, it's like, um, it's a lot as loud. I don't know how to put it that way. But yeah, um, I usually just use it on high just because my hair's thick and I want instant results. Like I can't just be spending an hour and a half on my hair. You know, I got other stuff to do. So what I like to do is I like to work in sections. So I start on the bottom.
just before I start, I wanted to let you know what I thought real quick. I really like this. Like when I normally blow dry my hair with just a hair dryer, it gets, it's a little coarse. It's a little frizzy. My hair is naturally coarse when it air dries. And so it never really looks smooth. And I can try to use a paddle brush and flip my hair upside down while blow drying. And it looks smooth, smoother than when it air dries, but it's not completely like silky smooth, you know? And so what I like about this is that it makes it really silky smooth and it just makes it nice and you want to touch it and you want to run your fingers through it. And it also gives you volume. And I am a big proponent of volume. Like my hair is long, it's thick, and so it gets weighed down. So if I don't have volume up here, it's just like, and it makes my head look so like small and like, no, I do not like it. And so with this, it gives me that volume. Um, Unfortunately, since I work from bottom to top, by the time I get up here, it's like I'm tired and I don't spend as much time working it at the top as I do the bottom, but I will work through, push through, and I will show you optimal results. So let's get started. Probably just going to work in sections of this much. I don't know if you can tell. It's if you spread it out, it's like half of the width of the barrel. I'm just going to go from there. So I'm just going to turn it on, it's gonna be loud, so I probably will just insert music here. Okay, and check it out. See how smooth and silky that looks compared to, let's see, this side. Woo! Look at that, it's so silky. And if you wanted to keep that curl, you can also just pin it to your head um, so that it can cool down in the curl and it'll keep it longer. But I'm going just for a natural, like straight look today, natural wavy look. So I'm just going to leave it. And then I'm going to continue with the rest of my hair. So one thing downfall is that it does get pretty hot. There is this little nub here that you can hold on to, but um, it gets a little hot as time mo goes on and so just be careful. Um, I've touched this end and it, it's not pleasant so just be careful. Okay, so that is one side done. Let me sit up on my knees so that you can actually see it. And so, look, compared to this side, it's smoother. I don't know if you can tell the shine. It's definitely shinier. It has that little curl at the end. This side, it's just like, meh. You know, it just woke up. It's wet hair. Just so you know, it is now 116. And so now I'm just going to speed it up and do my whole head of hair. So. I'll see you at the end. Okay, so that is the bottom section of my hair done. So here it is. Look at that, it's so silky and smooth.
So that is like, let's say half of my head is done. It is 126, so that's been 10 minutes, so not that long. And it's pretty dry, like probably right here at the roots, like in the back, just because it's hard for me to hold it up that far. It's probably has like 7% more to go to get dry, but it's like, I don't know if you can see how smooth it is. We'll do like what they do on the TV, on Instagram. Am I doing it right? I don't know. Okay, so let me continue. Okay, so this top part is the part that, you know, matters the most because it's what everyone sees. So I'm gonna work in smaller sections just so I get it nice. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. Who remembers that song? Another thing first, um, while this gets hot, your hair also gets hot as well. So after you've like blow dried it, when you take it out of the thing, it's hot. So be careful, like my hands, I've like, my finger pads are burned. So just be careful. It's 1.32, another 10 minutes has passed. See, it's going pretty quickly. So if you had shorter hair, you'd be done by now. And look, look at it. Look at this wave, this little flip over here. It looks so nice. It's like a professional blowout, right? In the comfort of your own home, wearing sweatpants. Okay, let's finish this up. I'm getting hot. Okay, so here you wanna take a little bit extra time just because you have your part and you want to make sure you're putting the volume on the right side for your part so so let's do today on the left side i know my part's not straight but i think like super straight parts are kind of weird it's like manufactured parts remember those like when we had zigzag parts or that little as seen on tv tool where it was like you put the part in and then you like whoop, and then it automatically like perfectly cuts it you remember i remember finished let me put all my hair straight hairs straight hairs okay let me put all my hair in the front so here it is look at it guys do you see the difference my hair is laying weird up top here these baby hairs are like messing up my vibe come on get with the program but yeah look how cool this looks like it looks so soft we'll do this is it shiny is it shiny i don't know it's not frizzy it's not coarse looking. It's like I actually got a blowout. Let's flip sides. And if you have shorter hair than mine or even thinner hair, it'll be, the volume would be more amplified. Remember my hair's long, it's thick, so it gets weighed down. So it's not necessarily as voluminous as you would see on someone else's hair. But for me, this is pretty voluminous. Like, woo, look at it. It adds like another inch, sometimes an inch and a half to my height. That's all we can hope for, right? Short girl problems. If you had more layers, I don't have a lot of layers right now. Um, I'm finally getting a haircut after like 10 months next week, so woohoo. But if you have more layers, it'll look even better. Like look at all this definition right here. You'd have like, yes, I love it. If you want, you can also go in with the cool setting and kind of set the hair like so it's not hot and so you can close the hair shaft and 
keep the style longer and I think it makes it shinier. So let's do that. Okay, and we are done. Look at this, it looks so nice. Like, yay. And I feel like also when I do this, when I do use the Revlon hair dryer brush, um, my hair can go longer in between showers or washing. So like, not showers, a shower. Okay, a, sh a shower. But it can go on longer between hair washings, which is always a plus. I hate washing my hair. What do you guys think? I keep wanting to do this because that's what I see everyone on Instagram doing, but just messing up my hair. Cool. So here it is, the final look. Look at it. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with this product. Best $59.99 minus that $350 Ulta coupon ever. Like, this is my jam. Plus you get like an arm workout too. Want to see my guns? It is now 1.43, we started around 1.13. Minus me talking, it's probably about like half an hour. And that was me going pretty fast. Um, if you have shorter hair, like I said, it'd probably take less. I totally recommend this product. Best product, hands down, for my hair. I love it. Um, it is intensive, like you do have to put a lot of effort in, you have to prep yourself like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I don't use it that often, I only use it when I know I have time to get ready when I'm in the mood and I, you know, my music is bumping, like, that's when I do this. If it's at night, you know, I'm not gonna do it before I go to bed just because, like, I'm gonna sleep on it, it's gonna get weird. I probably use this if 100% of my time is, let's say, dry hair. I probably use this 20 to 25% just because, I don't know, I'm lazy, I'm a lazy girl. I'd rather just flip my hair over real quick and just woo, -woo you know, versus, taking the extra 30 minutes to do this, but if I am going somewhere, there is an event that I'm going to, event, like I'm some kind of influencer, no, I'm talking like if I'm going to my mom's house or today I'm going to a baby shower, that's my event. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the extra, you know, 20% in so I look presentable. What do you guys think? Have I convinced you? Have I persuaded you? Look how nice it makes my hair look. It looks so healthy. So that concludes my video for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this hair review about the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer Brush. Um, I know I am a convert, like I love this thing. Um, I love having it handy. I love how it's just one step. You just do it, you dry it, and you brush it all at the same time. And I love how pretty it just makes my hair look. Anyway, uh, I am going to head out now, get ready for this baby shower. I'm pretty excited. I hear it's going to be a fun one. I'm just there for the food. Like always, with anything, there's food. I'm a happy flow throw. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.